Tammy Taylor was the coach's wife. <laughs> Um, and, uh, they were, they had been married for, I don't know, whatever. We, we would always like go back and forth. Like, how long have we been married? I don't know. 12 years? I don't know. How old is this kid? <laughs> anyway. And, um, when we started the show, uh, she didn't have a job and, um, it was actually Jason Kadem's idea to give Tammy a job at the high school. Um, and Pete Berg actually thought that was a terrible idea which, of course, he was incredibly mistaken about because it was a great idea, and it, it made it so that it really helped to integrate Tammy into the stories. And, um, you know, and also it gave us a great episode where she tells the coach that she's gotten this job at his school, which, you know, he was none too happy about. Um, and, you know, it just, it just, that, making the decision to have Tammy have a job at the school created so many great stories over the next few years um, because we got to see her as a school counselor so it, it, she was able to you know work with so many of the the student characters on the show and then she could butt heads with the coach because there would there would be conflict of interest amongst the students and and then of course um, when coach ended up going over to East Dillon and she stayed at Dillon and um, you know, and then even having what happened at the end of the series happen where she ultimately becomes, uh, you know, she in, in a way sort of surpasses him and, and, you know, gets a job as a counselor at a college and they end up moving for her job. Um, and, you know, when I look back on the experience of that um, and it, at a role that started out in the movie, and I was playing in the movie, I was playing Sharon Gaines as an actual person, you know, in the because the movie is based on all those people in Odessa, and she's she's amazing, and, you know, we didn't get to tell that story, and uh, so when I look back on where we came from, and even where we started on the pilot of Friday Night Lights, and, you know, see that the story had started as a story of a football coach and, you know, a town obsessed with football, and realizing that we ended up telling um, really a very feminist story, um, but but one that feels very accessible, and um, you know a, a story about a couple uh, who are are doing the best they can, you know, and and I just think that I think that they did it in a beautiful way.